enzyme-inhibiting drugs known as statins have been widely used to lower cholesterol for decades. The statins are really uh, the first group of cholesterol medications that have consistently shown reductions in cardiovascular events when we treat the high cholesterol. So they don't just reduce the number, they actually reduce events. A change in guidelines last year means millions of more people may be taking them, up from one in four middle-aged adults to as high as one in two under the new guidelines. 56 million Americans ages 40 to 75 are now eligible to consider a statin. The previous guidelines uh, had a somewhat difficult algorithm uh, to memorize and to figure out which cholesterol goals were appropriate for which patients. These guidelines try to simplify the process. Old guidelines looked at numbers and determined the amount of drug therapy needed to lower cholesterol to a normal level. These new rules are taking a calculated risk by prescribing statins based on a person's cardiovascular risk. They define four categories of patients that are, are eligible for cholesterol therapy and really two doses of cholesterol medicine, either a, a, a high intensity or a moderate intensity of a statin medication. Ranging from high risk existing cardiovascular disease to low risk primary prevention based in part on age. Patients may be taking these recommendations to heart. Because there's so much data supporting their benefit. Playing the numbers game, doctors hope to help more people better their odds against heart attack and stroke. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.